Hi, let's solve one previous question of DFS. This question was asked in GATE CS 2000, question number 19. In my playlist, I solved all questions up to 2010. This is a requested video. Let G be an undirected graph. Consider a depth first traversal of G and let T be the resulting depth first source tree. Let U be a vertex in G and let B be the first new on visited vertex visited after visiting u in the traversal which of the following statement is always true and four options are given let's take an example this is a graph now we'll do depth first traversal on this so first we'll traverse a discovery time will be one let me also create a stack so in stack first we'll push a after a we can visit either c or e let me visit c so its discovery time will be 2, we will push C into stack. After C, we can visit either F or D. Let me visit D. So discovery time will be 3. Now for D, no adjacent is left. All are visited. So it is a dead end. We will go back from it. So here finishing time will be 4. And from stack, we will pop it. Now we will check, is there an adjacent of C is left? Yes. F vertex is there, so from C we will visit F. Here discovery time will be 5. Then from F we will visit B. Discovery time will be 6. We can also push F and B into stack. Then from B we can visit E. Discovery time will be 7. Now E is a dead end, so we will backtrack. Here we will write finishing time as 8. Next, we'll check is there an adjacent of B is left? No. So we'll backtrack from it. We'll remove from the stack. Then we'll backtrack from F. Then we'll backtrack from C. Next, we'll backtrack from A. So it's 12. So the DFS traversal with timestamp are A, C, D, F, B, E. In this sequence, we traverse it. If we'll create DFS tree, so root will be A as we start visiting from A. After A we visit C. Then from C we visit D. So from A, C, then C to D. Then on D we'll backtrack. We'll backtrack to C. Then from C we'll visit F. So F will be C child. After D we are visiting F but we are not visiting directly. We are backtracking. We are going to node C. Then from C we are visiting F. Then from F we visit B, then from B we visit E. Now suppose U equals to D and B equals to F. Let's check all option. Option A, U B must be an edge in G. Is there an edge between D and F? No. D to C, then C to F. There is no direct edge between D and F. But here it's written U V must be an edge in G. And U is a descendant of V in T. Is D is after F? No. B is descendant of F but not D. So option A is false. No is between D and F. D is not descendant of F. So this is false. Next option B. U B must be an A in G and B is a descendant of U in T. So is there any A between D and F? No. Then is F descendant of D? No. If D child will be F, then we can say F is a descendant of D. F is a descendant of C, but F is not a descendant of D. That's why option B is false. So neither U nor V are descendant of each other. And there is no S between U and V. Next option C, if U V is not an S, if there are no S present between U and V, then u is a leaf in t this is true there are no edge present between d and f here you can mark d is a leaf it is a leaf that's why we are backtracking and we are visiting other vertex like from d we backtrack to c then from c we visit f so d can be a leaf these dotted lines are back edges these are not tree edges in tree, D is a leaf. D and E are leaf. So option C is true. If U V is not an edge in G, then U is a leaf in T. So D is a leaf in DFS tree. 
Next option D, if UV is not an edge in G, then UV must have same parent in T. So if there are no edge between U and V in the graph, then there must be same parent in the depth first tree. This is true for this example. Here for D and F, there are same parents. C is the parent of both D and F. Now let's take another example. Now suppose this is a graph. I just modified this graph. I just remove these two edges and add a edge from A to F. Now if we do depth first traversal on it, so from A, we can visit either F or C. Let me visit C. Then from C, we'll visit D. Now from D, we'll backtrack to C. Then from C, we'll backtrack to A. Then from A, we'll visit F. Then from F to B, then B to E. So if we'll create tree for it, from A to C, then C to D. Then D to, we are backtracking to A. So from A to F, then F to B. B to E. So after D we are visiting F but for D and F parents are not same. C is not parent of F. A is parent of F. So it is not always true. They may have same ancestor but not always parent. Sometime it is true. In this example we found both U and V have same parent but in this example both have same ancestor. We found option A is false, option B is false, option D is false, while option C is true. If UV is not an edge in G, then U is a leaf in tree. So answer will be option C. I already discussed DFS and how to construct depth first tree. Just go through the lecture and if this lecture is helpful for you, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.